Hello friends, this is lesson number 49 in this series of theories and criticism in English literature. In this lesson, we shall discuss Vladimir Propp, a structuralist thinker and a folklorist, a Russian folklorist. He was born in the year 1895 and died 1970. As far as his practice of structuralism is concerned, he gives us the structuralist analysis of Russian folklores. He analyzed the structure of these folk stories. He says that mostly all these folklores are character driven and plot is what? what the characters do. So according to him, uh, the characters are more important than the plot. From the Aristotle's view, what we see that uh, the plot is more important than the characters. But here he says that the plot is that what the characters do, what sort of a decision they take, how they function in the story, they make the plot. And further, he classifies these characters into different roles. There is a work by him that is Morphology of Folk Tales. Morphology of Folk Tales, published in the year 1928. What is morphology? It is a study related to the form and structure of the plants, animals, and even in the language we see morphology as the study of the structure of words. And here in the title we see morphology as it is the study of the various kinds of the characters that he saw in the Russian folk stories. Anyway, in this work, Morphology of Folk Tales, he talks about 31 narratives. These are the concepts which occur in the story and 8 character types. So we shall discuss these 8 character types. And somewhere you see that there are seven character types. So on different sources, we have different sort of information, seven character types or eight character types. And these types are quite common. By the name, we can understand that like a first is hero. So the central character that we see, then there is his supporter or the helper we can say who helps the hero. Then there is a villain who is in opposition to the hero and uh, the hero has a struggle against him. Then there is false hero. False hero can be considered as the variant of villain. Sometimes uh, that false hero is mistaken as a hero by the audience. Then there is a donor, another character type, donor. He also acts like a helper to the hero. He gives something special like a magical weapon or something something special to beat the villain next there is a dispatcher this person can be the one who sets the hero on particular mission who gives a, a particular target to the hero that you have to do this so sometimes it is the heroine's father or maybe a king and the next we have princess the heroine she is the interest of the hero and sometimes even the false hero is also having an eye on the princess. So these are the seven main types. Eighth may be taken as princess father separately. Somewhere it is written as he could act like a dispatcher where he gives something as a target to the hero. Or sometimes he is acting as, as a barrier between hero and heroine. So these are the seven or eight main character types that we see in the Russian folklores. And then there are 31 narratives. What is narratives? These narratives can be referred as uh, the typical moments in a particular story. Like when something is going missing, that is a narrative, which can be termed as absentation. One more like when the hero goes on a mission, departure as can we call. So we can easily think of such moments that we see commonly in the stories like a victory. When the villain is defeated, the hero emerges as a victorious. 
one more is like a rescue when hero is able to rescue his fellow person there may be other typical moments uh, like a wedding punishment so such are the examples of the narratives so that's all we have for vladimir prop remember the work morphology of folk tales written in the year 1928 and in that we have the concept of 31 narratives and 8 or 7 character types now before ending this lesson one more thing i would like to tell you that these are the minor writers of the structuralism so there is not much to talk about them and without taking much stress we should go through them at least once so thanks a lot for watching this lesson and have a great day